Calvin is one of the best players we get to see week in and week out. With that comes plenty of highlights and funny moments from Calvin. The guy's a hoot, he's got some really funny moments, but he's also a stone cold killer. His demeanor is very focused when it's time to get that win. Calvin has had some great performances the last few years, being in the top 10 on tour points since 2019. Calvin seems to be a staple for the final card of almost every big tournament. He already has 8 top 10s this year, but with being in that position comes a lot of spotlight moments, not all of them good. Calvin has had his successes, but he's also had some failures. Today we're going to check that out, the best and worst moments of Calvin Heimberg. Let's go. Like I said, Calvin is a hoot of a guy. He has a pretty deadpan humor which works pretty well in disc golf. Calvin is a character, and in the combination of playing one-on-one -on -one matches or being in skins games, Calvin is always in the spotlight. Here are some of his funniest moments. James Conrad forehand. <laughs> Watch out on the left side. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Dude. Now it's gonna be a radar. Here, here on my radar. He's approaching. All right, he's there. <laughs> oh, he got it. That was 30 seconds already? Yeah, that was 30 seconds. <laughs> you guys were talking the whole time. I was distracted. I know. But Turn no. your f***ing phone off. <laughs> of all people, you're the one to razz me? What? 30 seconds. Uh, That's that what was, it feels like. God. We just wanted you to know. That was 30 seconds. It literally felt like I took two breaths. I know. How was I supposed to know? Calvin Honestly, got me on a ring timer? I'm standing there. I can't even believe what just head. happened. <laughs> I still can't believe this. Again? No. <laughs> Tight one. Oh, that's right side three. Yeah, Calvin, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have some aces in a video like this. Calvin has two of them in competition, one at MVP Open and one at the OTB Open. Both of them coming just last year. The first one he had, his first in competition ever, was on hole 15 at the OTB. 340 foot hyzer, really sweet shot. His next one came later in the year at the MVP Open, kind of opposite of the first one, this just a little forehand shot over the water. Just like with funny moments, Calvin has plenty of footage when it comes to how good he really is. He has a great highlight reel. Calvin's backhand has to be his best quality. He's able to throw discs really low for a really long time. Low ceiling shots by Calvin are always so fun to watch. Check out his highlight reel. at this shot from Calvin. About 80 feet or so. Oh, oh my man. goodness. He's outside circle too, actually. He what a... He missed. A little misty. Oh! No, he did not! No way! Big putt. Oh wow. my Tricky lie, able to turn on the putter, and what a shot that is, folks. And Calvin. <laughs> Calvin answers. If you see right here, up through the oh gap. Oh my gosh. Give it to him. Oh. oh. Okay. That. Oh no. 
is a goner. And man, it, it's worse than I thought. There's a real good chance that that thing's gonna roll away. What? No way. What a monster. <laughs> what? Calvin has been at the top of the leaderboards ever since the late 2010s. He's almost become a staple. To win tournaments, you need to beat Calvin, because he always seems to get himself in the top 5 for the events. With so many finishes at the top come chances to win, I pulled together my 3 favorite events that Calvin got himself a victory. Let's check him out. The 2019 National Tour Finale, the Hall of Fame Classic held in Appling, Georgia. After each round, Calvin was at the top, but not in the lead. Adam Hammes was holding onto his lead all the way up until the final round, hole 16. Calvin was just two shots back until hole 16 where he proceeded to birdie and Hamas would bogey. This would be the two shot swing to give Calvin a chance. Calvin would take the lead on 17, but then on 18, Hamas would make this putt to force a playoff. What would ensue would be one of the best disc golf playoffs we've ever seen. First hole, they would match close calls on their approach shots, both of them coming close to hitting a tree. They make birdies, move on to the next. The next hole, par 3, Calvin would go a little outside, leaving him a tester putt. Hamas would peer it right under the basket, Calvin having to make this to force another hole. And there will be a third. The third playoff hole is tricky. Huge turnover shot off the tee. Hamas puts his in the fairway. Calvin would play the backdoor route. Hamas would hit a tree early on, leaving himself a jump putt that he would miss. Calvin's backdoor shot left him just outside the circle. After a couple of times where he needs to pull the shot off to force another hole, finally Calvin has a chance to win the tournament. Wow. That's awesome. Back and forth went the lead for this tournament. Calvin had it at some points, Eagle McMahon had it at others. But no one knew what was going to happen in the final round. No one knew what Calvin was going to do. Calvin was down three shots through hole five of the final round to Eagle. Then Calvin went off. He would birdie 10 holes straight, not only catching up to Eagle, but taking the lead. It was crazy. Every shot Calvin pulled off was awesome, as well as his putting was on fire. It all started with this putt on hole 5. Holes 6 and 7, tap in birdies. Hole 8, Calvin would make this tough putt from about 48 feet. Hole 9, he would birdie with this tee shot. I mean, it's a really hard hole to birdie, and Calvin gets it back inbounds behind the basket. Certainly high enough. Wow. Turned wow. over enough. Now, can it hyzer back enough? Uh... Hole 10 and 11 would be tapping birdies. Hole 12 would be his last tester putt. Watch how it just floats in. 13 and 14 would be 20 footers for birdie. 10 in a row, but the tournament wasn't over yet. Eagle would charge at the end, making it just a one shot lead for Calvin with one hole to play. Drama would ensue on the Mando for the final hole. Eagle up first, puts it in the water, missing the triple Mando. Calvin would attempt to just lay up but would actually miss a little right of the Mando. Calvin would have to just toss it to the side, giving Eagle a chance to make it from the drop zone to force a playoff. Number one in circle two percentages. This is a little high. Oh. Uh, and Calvin wins. It was a close one, but those 10 birdies in a row definitely helped to get the job done. Last year was the first year that Disc Golf Pro Tour held the match play event. If you don't know what kind of style event it is, let me explain. Instead of playing rounds based on score, every round you play is head to head. Winner advances, loser goes home. Top 16 players were invited to the event. Based on your tour points, you were seeded, Calvin being the number three seed for the event. Calvin would get off to a hot start in the Sweet 16, birdieing two of the first four holes. His opponent, Chris Clements, didn't have a birdie the whole round, so Calvin plays it safe the rest of the way, advances to the Elite Eight. There he met Nico LaCastro. Much tougher test in the second round for Calvin, Again, he would start out hot, but Nico mashed him, even though Calvin was 3 under through 5. Nico was only down 1. Nico kept it close until hole 9. They only played 12 holes each match, so it was getting down to the wire for Calvin, until he popped off and throws this shot here on 9. He would do the same on the next hole. Calvin advances to the final 4. Here he met James Conrad, who would be able to match him in the first part of the round, but then Calvin started picking up the pace. He would birdies hole 6 and 8 to take the lead, then this shot by Conrad would go out of bounds, giving Calvin his third straight win in a row. On to the finals to face Eagle McMahon. Calvin starts off with a birdie on the first hole, like always. Already up one, but then Eagle would follow suit, win the second hole after Calvin's jump putt rolls out of bounds. All tied up. Holes four and six, Calvin would birdie and take a two-hole lead. Now all he had to do was hold on for the next five holes, and he would be match play champion. Sadly, the coolest thing Eagle did down the stretch was catch his disc and smoothly put it into his bag. Eagle would chain out on nine, 
Calvin would miss his birdie putt as well. He almost could have ended this earlier. Hole 11 after keeping his two shot lead intact. Calvin has this putt to win the first ever Disc Golf Pro Tour match play. With constantly being at the top means a lot of eyes on you, and that isn't always the best thing. It means that when you falter and fail, we see it. Like I said before, Calvin's a staple at the top. To win a tournament, you're going to have to beat him because he gets so many top fives. With the last few years of Calvin being a top player, he does have some wins, we already saw that, but he has a couple blunders too. In 2020, Calvin was battling it out with Chris Dickerson for the Disc Golf Pro Tour finale. It came down to the final hole. This was it. Calvin threw a great shot and gave himself a chance. Chris basically parked the drive. This putt, after playing so well all day, just bounces out. He fought so hard, but fell just short. A whole different scenario in 2021 at the Dynamic Disc. Calvin was winning through three and a half rounds. He was 39 under, I mean just killing it. Making birdies left and right, then he started to fall apart. Out of bounds on hole 11, that would lead to a bogey. Wayward drive on 14 would go OB again, that's another bogey. 16, Calvin would throw it in the water on the island green. I mean, everyone made bogey on that hole, so not a big deal. But then Calvin would bogey 17 and 18 as well. He went from being at first and beating Macbeth by one to finishing tied for fourth and losing to Macbeth by seven shots. Three and a half rounds of disc golf fantastically played to make too many mistakes at the end and lose the tournament. 2021 Worlds, five rounds, winner take all. You have to play as consistent as you can to give yourself a chance. We all know what happened. Conrad throws in, wins in a playoff, but you may have forgot about Calvin. After round one, Calvin was tied for third. After round two, he was tied for first. After a sweet round three, Calvin was in the lead. Round four, he would drop back just one place to be tied for second. Four days in a row, and Calvin has been at the top. He was there, he was giving himself a chance. How did he end up finishing in 11th place? Hole 5 his drive would kick sideways giving him no shot, he makes double. That wouldn't be his only double on the day. Hole 12 his pulled drive would do the same. He would kick hard left giving him no shot again. You get the picture. After a couple more bogeys Calvin would be out of the tournament. 11th place after being only one shot back to start the day. Calvin would get a win in 2021, sort of. After the final round canceled at Ledgestone Open, Calvin and Ricky tied for the lead. So they named them co-champions. A win, kind of. Not counting it as one of the worst moments, just a bummer that we didn't get to see him go after the win and earn it on the final round. With failures come learning moments. Maybe Calvin had those bad rounds to prep him for what's to come. I mean, so far in 2022, he was really close to the first major. Champions Cup, he didn't fall apart, he just didn't quite get the job done. Dickerson earned that major. But then, just a couple weeks later, Calvin got redemption. The 2022 Jonesboro Open, Calvin was in fourth after day one, then he took the lead going into the final round. He was playing good, this was his chance to get a win on the year. He got off to a slow start, meanwhile Macbeth roared out of the gates, making three birdies in a row. They would battle it out for the whole round, swapping leads back and forth until Macbeth tied it up on 17. Calvin would throw one of the best shots on 18, Macbeth matching it, both of them making really good birdies. Here we go to the playoff for the Jonesboro win. Hole 1, Macbeth up first, both of them had both birdied this hole only once out of three attempts. Here's Macbeth's drive. it this is left how left very left very Ooh, left kind of rolled back. Kind okay of rolled. with that shot Macbeth is looking at a par time for Calvin to put the nail in the coffin time for him to earn a disc golf pro tour win is it flipping yeah yep oh yep oh yep. good night oh yep That's gotta be a huge... Thanks for watching guys, as always, much appreciated. If you liked the video, make sure to check out my channel. I have plenty of other videos you guys might like. All right, we'll see you next time. Cheers.